Please welcome Timmy and Sean O'Neill. Yes! You guys are so cute. Just watching you watch that, obviously you guys love each other so much, which yeah. is so nice to see. And I know, Timmy, this all started when you gave Sean a coupon to climb El Capitan at, in, in Yosemite National Park. Right, so we grew up in a big family. It's Susan, Sean, Kimberly, Kevin, Timmy, Tommy, Billy, huge Irish Catholic group, right? <laughs> so I remember pushing these shopping carts around with my mom, like elephants, you know? And so we clipped coupons. So I figured, hey, what a better incentive to get Sean a coupon to climb El Cap. And really it was just about him getting ready for it and being able to finally join me on the trip. And, and Sean, given the fact that, that being a daredevil resulted in your paralysis, did you have any trepidation about doing this? Tons. I, uh, well, it's a great unknown. I didn't know if my body would be strong enough. I didn't know if I'd be able to take care of my skin well enough. A paraplegic has to deal with pressure sores. Uh, so I have to be careful about that. Uh, I mean, I just had no idea. But it, it all worked out. I was with a good crew, with Timmy and his buddies. Uh, gee, I mean, it's... It's overwhelming, but it worked out. And, and it, it started this whole, it really, as I say, it now opened up this whole new world for you. And what about you, Timmy? I mean, here's your brother. Weren't you afraid about him getting hurt? Well, I knew that if I killed Sean climbing, Thanksgiving dinner would be really awkward from then on, <laughs> right? You killed Sean. I did not. Uh, he did it to himself. But I did, I, you know, so I knew that I, we brought really good guys with us, this guy Ammon, this guy Cedar, and, and we went for El Capitan, and this is something I've been doing for decades, but it was completely new for Sean. And you, they, they had to design all this special equipment for you. Tell us a little bit about that, Sean. Yeah, I, uh, when we first climbed Devil's Tower in 96, we took a cafeteria chair, uh, cut off the legs, used some foam rubber from a car seat, and made a special bosun's chair to to, ho to go up in. We used newspaper and duct tape. Newspaper, it was like homeless duct adventure. Tape. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it you was basically... A I lot mean, of improv. We, it's like doing just pull-ups sort of the whole time. And, and with all due respect, Sean, I expected you to be a little more buff. I'm not well, going to lie. <laughs> what? It's Sean, better. It's good. by Katie. It's good to be compact. <laughs> but was that hard to do? Because obviously, I mean, you had to probably train a whole new part of your body to compensate for what you couldn't do with your legs. Well, uh, I had been pushing my wheelchair up long mountain roads before this. I uh, decided I just had to push my wheelchair up the Mount Washington Auto Road, eight steep miles. And, and this is with his hands, as you can see, right on his wheels, yeah. right? Wow. No special and wheelchair. And these, these are soft. They used to have big calluses on them like your, foot, your feet would. But so getting in shape to go up Mount Washington left me in very good shape with a lot of endurance. And Timmy got in touch and said, hey, bro, I think this is the time to do El Cap. To redeem the coupon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so it's 3,000 feet high. It took you about a week. And when you finally got to the top, I guess it normally takes four to six days. So that was pretty impressive, right? When you got to the top, I mean, what was that like for you, Sean? Gee, the whole thing's kind of overwhelming. The last day... Whoa. We had storm coming in. We were quite focused to try and reach the top so we wouldn't be stuck in a storm on the wall. Uh, and then finally we got up top, and then the sun came down below the clouds and shone in all beautiful. And then Timmy came over and sat beside me, and we uh, <laughs> yeah, him, had yeah. a hug and a big smile. And, uh, and that climb was over, but it was the beginning of, of the last almost two decades now of really going for it. Yeah. Which is incredible. And, and Sean... I was going to say, I think you're a real rock star. Then I realized how stupid that sounded. No, that's, that's what people say. Jimmy, but I'm bummed. Oh, nice, Katie. Yeah. <laughs> He's funny. Who were the writers on this show? They had you say that? No. I just actually thought of that on the spot. Oh, that was ad lib. Yeah. <laughs> a round of applause, please. Come on. Yeah.